Hey guys, Hoppy Hunting here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm back out at the cliffs for a solo hunt. There's nobody out here. I just got down to the beach and the water looks really low. There's a lot of cobbles and gravel exposed. So it should be really good conditions. The water's still going out and it should be pretty much all day. Low tide's not till about 4 p.m. So conditions look pretty promising and I'm really excited to be back out here looking for shark teeth and other fossils. So let's see what we can find. Let's go. Looks like a nice little mako. Could be a retroflexus. Pretty color. Yeah, that's definitely a retro. Spotted a cookie in the water. It's a pretty thick one. Got a little dolphin vert in the water. Right there. Looks like it's whole. Partially whole. Not bad. It's cool. It's orange. Oh, this side doesn't have the cookie. Looks like a big fish shark in the water. Yeah. Wow. Footprints are usually a bad sign, but some people walk too quick. And this guy almost steps on this big lower heavy. Look at this. Wow. Awesome too. That walk slow. Well, despite the amazing conditions, it's been a relatively slow day so far, but I just spotted a Meg in the water. It's not very big, but it looks like a nice one. Check this out. See it? It's right there. Woo! Missing the borlet, but oh man, look at the serrations. It's got the tip. <sighs> Beautiful. I wish it had the borlet, but man, I can't complain. That is a nice tooth. Beautiful serrations. It's gotta be probably two and a half. It's a lower. Awesome. Check that out. That's my trip maker for sure. I just knew with conditions like today that I was gonna find something good. It was a pretty slow day. I was, I've been here for a few hours now and I really wasn't finding a ton of stuff but I spotted that tooth in the water and I was just like, yes, finally. Such a pretty tooth. It's a bit of a shame it doesn't have the borlet, but still very, very nice. This is super cool. You might just step over this and think it's just a weirdly shaped rock, but it's actually a whalebone and it's the biggest of its kind I have ever found. This is a monster atlas vertebra. Wow, and it's intact. It even has that top neural process. Wow, covered in barnacles. It is heavy, but this is the vertebra right behind the skull in the whale. Wow, right after I found that Meg too. Pretty awesome. Water's still going out, and this stretch looks very promising. So I'm gonna walk it very slow. It's like a pretty nice histalis, right where the water's breaking. Oh, that's a nice one. Real pretty. Little tiger. bed. It's a good example of why it helps to walk a stretch from multiple angles. I definitely missed this guy on the way down because he was kind of hiding underneath this little cobble. Looks like a nice little stylus. Oh, beautiful color. It's got like a stripe of orange. 
nice tooth. Another pretty nice tooth next to a footprint. Looks like a little lemon. Haven't found one of these in a while. Yep, definitely lemon shark. Well, the water is still going out, but it is starting to get dark, and I've found pretty much everything I could have hoped for today, so I'm going to start heading back up to the car, and I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, I'm back up with the car now. Man, what a day. It was pretty incredible. Uh, the conditions were great. I was expecting that because there were strong northwest winds today, which really pulls the water out and sometimes results in a blowout tide. So, yeah, it was just great, and I found some pretty awesome stuff, as you guys saw, but I will get home and clean everything off, and I'll show you guys all the finds from today. See you soon. All right, guys, back home, so let's go over the finds from today. Start up here with the Hemis. Got a lot of them today. A few nice ones, including this really nice lower. Beautiful. These are Carcharhinus. Got some tigers, a couple lemon shark teeth. Lots of ray plates today, including a few big ones. Got a couple Retroflexus, which is a species of mako. This was actually, I think, my first tooth of the day. Really pretty color. Got this crab claw. These are all Makos or Hastalis. This is probably the best one. Nice and glossy. And then easily the best tooth of the day, this Megalodon tooth. It's a beautiful one. It's got pretty much all the serrations, including the tip. The only thing is the borlet has been stripped away. There's usually a dark band right here, but still a very, very nice tooth. You can see it's very thick. It's a lower, it would be in the lower jaw. Beautiful, Meg. And then I also found a few really cool bones today. This is a big fish vertebra that I spotted in the water. This is what we call a cookie. It's actually an epiphysis. It's basically the cap of the vertebra. So this would have been from a dolphin. And then I got a little dolphin vert. This side, the cookie is fused, so it has the smooth surface. And on the other side, it was not fused. This is a lumbar vertebra, so it would have been in the lower back. It's a pretty nice one. And then probably my favorite find of the day, aside from that Meg, is this massive whale vertebra. It is an atlas vert, so right behind the skull. And you can see it must have been in the water for a pretty long time. It is just covered in barnacles. And I actually haven't decided if I want to keep those on there or remove them. I think it's pretty cool, but let me know in the comments what you guys think, if I should keep them or take them off. And here's another look at the mag all dried out. And here is the final display. Pretty awesome day out at the cliffs. All right guys, so it was an incredible day of collecting and I'm so glad I was able to bring you guys along with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna get yourself some hoppy hunting merch like this shirt, make sure you click on the link in the description to bring you to my online store. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure, hoppy hunting.